welcome sledders to another episode of Sledhead 24-7. I'm your host Carly Applin, out on the trails, enjoying the weather and putting on miles. We're going to start the show off by evaluating the all-new Axis chassis from Polaris with a whole new platform for 2015 that's designed around the rider for a more centralized balance of control. This is truly an amazing sled to ride. Take a look. You know, the folks over at Polaris did a lot of changes. This sled is 93% changed. Polaris has cut out in this new Axis chassis from last year, 2014 to 2015, the switchback, 38 pounds. They've moved the driver forward. It's more centered up in the front, the 800 Rush Pro S for me was one of the funnest sleds that I've actually ridden this entire weekend. It's not designed to be the top end model in the new Axis chassis, but that's why I like it because it shines so well. That chassis is, sits a little bit lower than its you know, other model, the Pro X, but I think that it actually helps it in the trail section. The Pro X, it's got taller shocks, it's got a little bit different valving in it, and it's made for just crashing through big bumps. Big bumps, that thing just shines. It's a little bit higher the way it sits. The Pro S is a totally different suspension. Geometry is the same, but the valving and spring rate is different. It's Pro S and it's little brother, it's two inches lower. It's the one that's meant for the groom trail section. Polaris has done a great job on this. You know, I know they've had a lot of development time on this chassis, but I tell you what, I really do love the sled. You know, it's got the 800 HO clean fire. This is all new for 2015. When you say all new, what's new about it? We'll start with the crankshaft, two and a half pounds lighter. It's got electronic variable exhaust valve. So it isn't the gas pressure, it isn't done with springs. It's a little servo motor that actually opens and closes the exhaust valves from close to middle height to high height. The 800 clean fire HO engine had tons of power. The power had linear acceleration, just a nice, steady, gradual pull the whole way. What an engine they have. Same crankshaft they've been using in Snowcross. Remember the ones getting all the hole shots? 2.5 pounds lighter. Doesn't sound like much. That is an incredible amount of weight to reduce out of the crankshaft. It's a combination of your pistons, your rods, your crank. All that takes inertia to get rolling. Two and a half pounds lighter crank, spectacular. It, it really hooked up nice with the 800 clean fire injection motor. The thing it has great throttle response, gets great mileage, and just sips oil. Makes it a great all around sled. It's all about the rider position forward, but being up higher, and nobody else does that. The ergos were phenomenal. I liked um, standing and sitting on this sled. When you sit on it, you, you just feel super comfortable. Almost like sitting on a dirt bike, but way more comfortable than that, in my opinion. You can slide back, you can lighten the front and just wheelie through anything. You come into a corner, slide up front, that front end bites and it grabs around the corner. It definitely had, you know, rider forward ergonomics on it. But I think that the steering column and the handlebars, uh, you know, make that feel comfortable by all means. It didn't feel like they were, you know, twisting back into my chest on sharp corners by any means. And it wasn't super uncomfortable to ride it, uh, you know, for longer periods of time on the trail. What they've done is created a snowmobile that flies flatter. Remember rushes in the past, including myself, have said, there's a little bit too much weight transfer. Meaning that when you got your weight shifted back and you're hard on the gas, the nose gets too light. And then you're trying to drag the brake and bump the brake down to keep the nose down. Not in this new Axis chassis. This thing absolutely flies flat, level, and true. Uh, that chassis just seemed to make everyone, you know, like I say, keep a smile on their face the entire time they were riding it. It just, it worked. And I think that, you know, it was super important that it worked, but I also think that it was super important to see a snowmobile company, you know, pursue innovation. Being realistic, it, you know, you're gonna ride a Pro X and you know on some trail a little bit, obviously, because not anyone's gonna ride eight hours straight of the, you know, the huge whoops or the you know tight stutters that we were riding today. But it really works in what it's designed for, and I think because of that, you can give up a little bit of the on-trail characteristics. It's like artwork. They took a blank piece of canvas and created art, and let me tell you, this is a Picasso. For special offers and more on Polaris, visit them online at polaris.com. And keep a lookout for their 2015 demo tour. Why not ride one before you buy one? 